Hey everybody, so today, if you have not already noticed, I'm back in my regular room. It is my college fall break this year, so I thought I would take the time to sit down and film kind of like a chatty getting ready with me video just for my everyday college makeup routine. Obviously, some days I don't wear any makeup at all. Some days I wear a little bit more like eyeshadow and stuff like that if it's like a more formal day or if I'm going out, stuff like that. But just as far as like an everyday products that I've been loving, I thought I would film this for you guys. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. So the first thing I've been using in my routine is the Benefit Professional Primer, and I've been absolutely loving this. I've been testing it out like the last couple weeks or so um, for like classes and just like the general longevity of my makeup. And I feel like it makes such a big difference on just how it applies. It, I don't think it has silicone in it, but it kind of has that like silicone-y feel, if you know what I mean, in like a good way. Um, and I just really like the way that this just kind of smooths out my skin and makes makeup apply a lot easier. I kind of focus this around like my nose area where obviously you have the most pores, um, but I just kind of spread it out. The next thing I'm using is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. I've talked about this in a couple of videos now. I got this at Generation Beauty and the brush that goes along with it. And it just applies everything really well and is like a really natural way to just like even out your skin tone. Um, like I've said a couple times now, for something that's not marketed as a long wear or a high coverage foundation, I think it does a good job. For me personally, I prefer to have just like an even skin tone, but obviously I'm a teenager so I have acne still and just being like a girl, you get acne. Um, so for me personally, it doesn't bother me too much if a little bit sticks out just because I don't like super cakey makeup, but I like having like a more even skin tone. So I think that this is great for that. It doesn't like clog your pores or anything and it just feels like really good on the skin. So then after I put that on, I just kind of go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and just go under my eyes and on any spots that are like wildly peeking through if that makes sense um, or just like around areas that wear a little bit faster so for me that's like around my nose and just like around that area of my face gets red easily and normally I would blend this with a foundation type of brush but because I am on a fall break I brought like a limited amount of makeup and brushes back with me so I'm just going to be using my fingers for right now the next part of my routine is something I've been recently doing, and that's baking. So I'm just taking this IT Cosmetics, um, I think it's like Bye Bye Pores powder. I don't think that this is the best for this, but it's the only loose powder I have at the time, so like I'm just gonna use it. And using a beauty blender, you basically take like an absurd amount and just pat it right under your eyes or anywhere you really want the concealer to stick. There is an insane amount of fallout with this process. It's honestly the biggest pain in the butt. But if you're like me and you have like three or four classes in one day or like meetings directly after and you don't wanna look like you haven't slept since 2009, this is a really great way to make your concealer last and look so good. Like I was saying, I've been using this as like the powder to um, bake with, but it's definitely more of a setting powder. This works really well until you take flash photos. I will insert pictures here. It is atrocious. I guess I didn't test the flashback on it. Um, so highly recommend not using this if you're taking flash photography, but for like day-to-day -day basis it's fine I guess. Um, and if you're not familiar with the baking process, you just kind of leave this on for a couple minutes while it like sets, and then you just like wipe away the excess, which you'll see in a couple minutes. But while that's baking, I'm just using this Essence Make Me Brow. Basically this is just like a brow gel that's tinted, so I've just been using this to fill in my brows. I got this at Generation Beauty. Um, a lot of this makeup is from Generation Beauty just because I have it, so I've been like testing it out. And the people at Essence were so, so nice. Um, and I'm a huge fan of this product. I feel like it just does a good job of like setting my brows and filling them in a little bit, but not too much because I do have pretty like thick brows naturally and it's not like a super big issue for me personally. The next thing I'm doing is just applying eyeliner and I'm using the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen in Waterproof. And I really like this even though I don't typically like waterproof makeup because it doesn't um, take forever to come off or anything like that. It kind of glides off with makeup remover, um, but it doesn't budge throughout the day, which is really, really nice. 
As you guys know, I do like to wing out my eyeliner, but honestly, this is like my everyday class type of makeup routine, or just like a little bit nicer than my everyday class makeup routine. And when I'm doing my makeup at like nine in the morning, honestly, winged eyeliner doesn't happen too often. Um, so then after that, I'm just taking a big fluffy brush. This is by It Cosmetics as well. And just wiping away the excess powder from the baking process. <laughs> it like gets in your mouth when you talk. Okay. So as you can hopefully see, it just leaves a really bright under eye look and it sets it so well. Honestly, I left my dorm at like 9 a.m. one day and didn't get back until past midnight and my eye, under eye concealer was like the only thing that had held up on my face just because of the baking process. So I'm a huge fan. So for mascara, I'm just using my Benefit Roller Lash. This is another like recent favorite of mine. I've really been loving the way that this applies. It really curls the lashes and holds all day, which again is really nice if you're running around from class to class or work or anything like that. Um, you guys know how much I love Benefit products, so this has been a staple in my routine. So then after that, I just finish up by putting some brown eyeliner on my waterline into my lower lashes. And this is the Per Minerals Double Ego Dual Ended Eyeliner. And the liquid like pen side of this has dried up, but I just have like a very little bit of the pencil liner left, so I've just been using it up. And like I said, I just kind of smudge that in between my waterline and my lower lash line. So that is all I do for my eyes on like an everyday basis. I don't really wear eyeshadow or anything like that, just again for time sake and stuff like that. So moving on to the face, I'm just kind of bronzing and like slightly contouring, but mainly bronzing up my face with the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And I'm just taking this on like a fluffy um, contour brush and just applying this right kind of below my cheekbones and a little bit up on my cheekbones to warm up my face. And then I'm just finishing up with the Becca Opal Pressed Powder Highlight. I've talked about this a couple times on my channel. I absolutely love this. And I'm just using a fluffy highlight brush from Lux Beauty, I believe. Luxy Beauty. Um, these were also given out at Gen Beauty. And I definitely apply a heavy hand of highlighter. You could obviously apply less. I just like a pretty heavy highlight on my cheekbones and just like the tip of my nose. Um, sometimes a little bit on my chin or like above my cupid's bow, just like typical places you put highlight. Um, but I really like the way that this blends in with the Hoola bronzer just to create like a general really glowy vibe on your skin. And then lastly, I take this Glossier Balm.com lip salve. It's just like a really thick chapstick type of thing for most days um, just for class because again, I don't really feel the need to put on like liquid lipstick in the morning or anything like that just because I normally eat on the way to class and stuff like that. But if I'm going to, I've been loving this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I've heard a lot about these lately. They're relatively inexpensive um, compared to like some of the other ones out there. And this is in the color Pasadena. And I absolutely love it. It's like a little bit darker than your natural lips um, or at least my natural lips. I guess everybody's are different. But I really, really like it. It's super natural, but it's still like a statement kind of. It's more like fall nude based. Um, so if I'm ever wearing a lip color, I can almost guarantee it's this one. But like I said, for right now, I'm just going to put on the Glossier uh, Skin Self. So that is actually everything for my everyday kind of chatty college. Um, morning routine, get ready with me, whatever you want to call it. If you have any questions on specific products or anything like that, I will try to answer them all down below. I will leave some of the products I talked about in the description box down below as well. And if you have any other suggestions, comments, feedback, feel free to leave that in the comments as well. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it so I know to make videos similar to this in the future. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. My social media will be over here and in the down bar, like always. And I will talk to you guys next time.